eastern plains. Folks in Pueblo, not too bad at all. In fact, a little bit of heavier snow down to the southwest of Pueblo. But at this point, the real focal point of the snow and the blowing snow is going to shift eastward out over the eastern plains. It's going to be windy and cold tonight, but this snow will get out of here. I'll tell you more about that and including what lies ahead for your Friday later in the show. Don and Betty. Thank you, Brian. For now, we want to head out east to the eastern part of El Paso County. The wind is just whipping yeah. the snow around out there. 11 News reporter Sarah Schwabe has been parked along Highway 24 to bring us up to date out there. So, Sarah, any improvement? Betty, actually, visibility has improved somewhat over the last half hour or so, but we're still dealing with a lot of wind. As I back away from the live truck, you can see some pretty strong winds that we're still dealing with here on Highway 24, making travel still fairly difficult. But regardless, it's been slow going out here all day today, and the winds really haven't let out a whole lot. Now, aside from causing delays, the weather can also be bad for business. Now, we spoke to a FedEx driver who was following his normal route when he hit a major roadblock. Well, I was attempting to deliver, and I got out to Calhan, and they said it was blocked off going out east, and that's my entire route is out east, so I have no choice but to turn around and go back. Now, Pongate drives about 350 miles a day, and he tells us every time we have weather like this, he says it costs him a lot of money because he contracts with FedEx. Now, something else you should keep in mind if you're going to be driving out east here later tonight. With this blowing snow, it makes it that much harder to see any icy spots on the road. So if you will be traveling, make sure to take it nice and easy. Betty and Don. Kind of a double hazard. Sarah, thanks so much. And just a reminder, Colorado Springs, El Paso County.